last tag one for today. Um, this has no title, it just says questions. So it's just, I think 50 questions. I haven't looked through this at all. <coughs> Sorry. So let me just do this quickly. Number one, did you wake up cranky? Yes, I did actually. Number two, would you date an 18 year old at your current age? Um, well, I'm married, so no, but if I was single, probably yeah, because I, I guess I'm just fucked in the head. Do you prefer to be friends with girls or boys? Probably guys, because as any girl will tell you, chicks are fucking shady and they're bitches, so yeah, no. Would you ever smile at a stranger? I do all the time. I'm actually quite a friendly person. Can you commit to one person? Um, yep. How do you look right now? What a dumb question. Uh, what exactly are you wearing right now? I have on a purple and black kitty cat, uh, kitty cat onesie. And just a little head and, uh, it has a tail and stuff because it's really cold. How often do you listen to music? Every single day pretty much. Um, do you wear jeans or sweats more? Neither. Actually, I don't really wear pants at all. Oh, there's a fucking fly here and I want to kill it. I suck so much. Ugh. Um, let's see. Uh, do you think your life will change dramatically before 2014? Well, it's past 2014. Um, should I say 2017? But no, I don't think my life will change dramatically. I'll turn 40, which sucks, but that's about it. Are you a social or an antisocial person? Very, very antisocial. Um, if the person you like says they like someone else, what would you say? I wouldn't say anything. It just makes you look really desperate and stupid to say something, you know, so just, I wouldn't say anything. Um, are you good at hiding your feelings? Not at all. Can you drive a stick shift? Nope. Do you care if people talk badly about you? Very much so. I am really bad about letting things just kind of roll off my shoulders. Um, are you going out of town soon? No. 17. When was the last time you cried? I don't know. I almost cried a couple minutes ago. I made Logan a video trying to talk to him about something quite important and I almost lost my shit and got depressed, but I didn't. That's why I look kind of down right now. Um, but I didn't cry because I don't want to ruin my makeup. <laughs> Have you ever liked someone you didn't expect to? Yeah, a uh, fucking stupid ex of mine. I liked him just because he was very protective and at the time I went through a bad breakup and the guy I'd been with was choking me and this guy was the only one who stood up for me and acted like he cared and being a security guard and stuff he just seemed really kind of powerful and protective and even though he wasn't my type and he had a girlfriend I ended up liking him because I just felt protected. Um, if you could change your eye color would you? Hell yeah. I hate having poo brown eyes. I think it ruins everything. It just makes me look really ugly. Name something you have to do tomorrow. I don't actually have to do anything. My day is very boring. 21. Name something you dislike about the day you're having. The fact that I'm trying to have this conversation with Logan. I don't want to get into it because it's very personal, but I don't, I don't like that this has come up at all. No, he hasn't cheated on me. No, it has nothing to do with anybody else. 22. Have you ever liked one of your best friends of the opposite sex? Uh, I don't know. I've liked people and then they've ended up being my friends, but I haven't like liked someone who was already a friend. Are you nice to everyone? Um, I think I am actually. I try to be considerate and kind even when I write people I hate. Uh, people pass me by and they s smile or they look at me and I just, eh, you know, or 
whatever. I, I, I try my best to be a polite and kind person to everybody. I do get angry right away. As soon as I get attacked, that's it. But if you're decent to me, I'm always nice. Even if I'm trying to say something to an enemy, like make up with them or something or be like, look, you did this in the past. I'm willing to let it go if you are. And usually they're not. They're petty assholes for a reason. But I do try. Um, what are you sitting on right now? A pink twirly computer chair and a hemorrhoid pillow because of my tailbone. And the pillow actually doesn't work, but it, it works better than sitting on nothing. <coughs> Do you think you can last in a relationship for six months and not cheat? Pretty sure that question was up there. Number five, can you commit to one person? Yes. I'm getting the feeling these questions are written by a fucking teenager. Yes, I can last in a relationship for six months and not cheat. Have you ever wanted someone you couldn't have? Yes, I have a couple of times. Don't really feel like getting into it right now. I've said this stuff in other videos before, so you'd have to go through every single video of mine to find out. <laughs> um, who was the last person you talked to before you went to bed last night? My husband. Do you get a lot of colds? Yes, I do. And I still have the remnants of a flu right now. As you can tell, I'm coughing, coughing, coughing. I have this phlegm stuck in my throat and I can't get rid of it. Have your pants ever fallen down in public? Not pants, but my skirts have. <laughs> uh, number 30. Does anyone hate you? A lot of people hate me. Do I know why? No. Can I do anything about it? No, but I am very hated. Very, very hated. Do you have someone of the opposite sex you can tell everything to? Yeah, my ex-husband. We're very close. He's like my best friend and I can pretty much tell him anything. Um, do you like watching scary movies? Are there any other kind? <laughs> I love scary movies. Are you a jealous person? I am obscenely jealous. Not as much now because I don't hate myself like I used to, but when I was at my biggest and didn't care about anything, I was just crazy jealous of anything and everyone, even like Marmalade's a female cat. And if like Logan were to be overly nice to her, I'd be like, ah, she's a female, you know, just unrealistic jealousy. If you had to delete one year of your life completely, which would it be? Probably the year right before I got my surgery because that was a really bad year with lolcow on me and reddit on me and just getting bullied and talk shit about and wanting to kill myself and then getting offline and having somebody make a profile pretending that I killed myself and then being dragged into that and it was just a huge mess. Huge, huge mess. Then again, if I deleted that year of my life, I would have never tried to sign up for surgery. I would have never gotten surgery and I would have never, I would not be where I am right now. So like I always say, you have to have the bad to get to the good. Um, 35. Did you have a dream last night? I dream every night. Just, I actually don't remember my dream last night, which is weird. Um, is there anyone you can tell everything to? No, <laughs> not everything. Do you think you'll be married in five years? I hope so. I've been married almost five years now, and if he listens to me and takes me seriously, then there's no reason we shouldn't be married in another five years. But right now we're going through some shit. Um, he says it's just me, and I say it's not just me, but... I just feel like the romance is kind of dead in our relationship. Like he's throwing himself into work. He's like, well, we don't go anywhere. We don't do anything. What's the point of not working if there's work? And so he's working six, seven days a week. And, you know, from like five in the morning to like six at night and my sleep's off and we can't sleep in the same room because he's snoring and kicking and thrashing and he'll hold me and then he'll jerk and then he'll scratch across my face or scratch across my stomach and then he'll be kicking and I'm such a light sleeper. So he's in another room. So we're not sleeping together. We're not seeing each other. We're not going out together. He doesn't ever compliment me on the way I look or if I've lost weight. It's just, he doesn't care about the way he looks. He, he's like, I'm growing up, I'm working, I'm changing. And he doesn't put any care into his appearance. He's not really shaving. He's not 
he's it's all work he's throwing himself so much into work he's got no time for anything else and he's completely neglecting me and I just feel really mournful for the relationship that we had and he's like well I still love you the same and he thinks that I'm being ridiculous about it but I'm not because there's no reason for romance and passion to die in a relationship once you let that happen everything else could fall apart and I was just trying to get him to take me seriously I totally didn't want to tell you guys that but I have a big fucking mouth no, that's what we're going through. I guess it's better to tell you guys than to have people assuming that we're going to cheat on each other or we're fighting. It's it's not like that. It's just we're not seeing eye to eye right now on what's important in our relationship. I think we should put more time together and he should care about the way he looks. Just because you get married doesn't mean it's okay just to give up and not care. You still should try to impress the person that you're with and he doesn't feel that way. Anyway. Do you think someone has feelings for you? Aside from my husband, I have no idea. Maybe, maybe not. Do you think someone is thinking about you right now? I have no idea. With as many people as there are out there and as many people that know me, probably. Um, do you? Did you have a good day yesterday? Kinda, because I dyed my hair. Looked at a house. Haven't gotten called back about the house, as always. It was an okay day. It wasn't great. 41. Think back two months ago. Were you in a relationship? Yeah. <laughs> Is your life anything like it was two years ago? Not at all. Um, well, in some ways it is. In some ways it is. And it's more what's in here that's changed. Um, just trying to change who I am. Uh, physically, of course, I, lots changed. But yeah. 43. If the person you wish to be with were there with you, what would you be doing right now? I'd probably be talking to him about what I want to talk to him about or would be watching something and eating. What's the best part about school? I'm not in school and I have no good memories of being in school. I had no friends. I had nothing. Um, do you have any pictures on your Facebook? What a fucking stupid question. Of course I have pictures on my Facebook. Who doesn't? Did you ever pass notes to your friends in school? Yeah. <laughs> Who didn't? Do you replay things that have happened in your head? All the time. Were you single over the last summer? No, I was not. What are you supposed to be doing right now? There's nothing I'm supposed to be doing. I'm an adult. Nobody tells me what to do. <laughs> And number 50, don't tell me lies, is the last person you texted attractive? Last person I texted was my husband, so yeah, he's attractive when he wants to be. <laughs> um, so that's it, that's the 50 questions. I started it out thinking that those questions were going to be interesting and good, but they ended up being kind of lame. I really did not enjoy that one. I guess I should have read it, but I think reading the questions beforehand and having a an answer in mind ruins the whole experience, so I don't like to do it, but... Man, whoever wrote that one was fucking stupid as hell. Sorry, but not sorry. That was lame. So I guess I'm gonna whatever, and I'll see you guys again. Take care. Bye-bye.